guys. My clicker's not working today. Fairy Babe here, checking in. Well, I will tell you, the sleep is the key. If you're not getting any sleep, that's why you're not losing. When I was doing HCG back when I was subbing on a full time, um, I had to get up and get going and I was having a real hard time losing. Of course, the fasting helps, but I got up and weighed about seven and was not pleased with the number and then fell back asleep and it was one o'clock when I woke up again. I had a real, uh, let me tell you my numbers though. 144.9 down 1.6. I skipped 145 altogether, but I have a feeling if I wake up in the morning, I may, I may see 145 because where's this thing is bothering me. Because um, salt, you know, I did all that salt yesterday. I'm wearing a glove because last night about 2.30, I was getting ready things for camping. And I had bought, we, I buy these little knives. I get them for a dollar a piece at one of our local kitchen shops. And they're not very sharp while I was washing it. And when I was nine, I hunting knife washing it in the river, sliced the middle finger right at that bottom joint. Bad. I didn't want to tell my dad, but I didn't have to have stitches, but it was sore. So I always learn you turn the blade away. Sliced across the tip of this finger, right along kind of where the nail starts. But I thought it was over here, so I'm pressing and pressing here. Jesus, I was forcing the blood out. It bled and it bled and it bled. And I had some of those stop the blood powders and I'm putting it on and it's dripping and I'm putting it on and it's dripping and I'm putting on pressure. And so um, 45 minutes I sat there, had a tray on my lap to try and contain and I had a roll of paper towel and I just kept mopping and finally it stopped put a glove on in case it bled in the night, which it, it did a little bit. So I was really late getting to bed and I was stressed. So I took a pill, you know, like a real pill. And no, uh, I don't do those very often. And it just knocked me out. So when my husband came back in, he said, I'm, he was leaving for a funeral. I, he said, I'm leaving for the, for the, visitation and I said already he said it's one o'clock oh my god and then I got on the scale to a 1.6 ah I'm less than five pounds I'm less than five pounds mm, less than five pounds anyway the fast I don't know whether it's loss of blood um, but I'm a little woozy not great not great energy today and I'm wondering if it's the fast and I'm thinking time to stop the fast but I'm not driving anywhere it's like if I can just hang on another couple days then maybe I'll hit goal and you know but I know that when I do the refeed, I probably will drop a little bit, but it's what I want my LDW to be 140. I'm just so damn compulsive that way. So it's raining. When he went to hook up the trailer, we've been having trouble with the lights coming unhooked. He couldn't get the blinkers to work, and it was pouring rain. And we have a we have a very small trailer, but it has a slide out and you can't really put the slide in in the rain or all that water pools inside so I wasn't anywhere near ready and he said let's just not go today and I said sounds good to me because I haven't sorted through the huge pile of clothes I was digging around trying to find the laundry where I did so I could get one of these little camis but speaking of, this is um, a little cotton cardigan, one of my HCG boutique finds. 
and I like them in weather like this. It's turned a little cool and it was a little cooler last night. Oh, by the way, I've done three circuits every night since I said I did the first one. I forgot to mention it yesterday. So, you know, on this Fitbit Blaze, it has that screen. And when you hit your 5,000 steps, it vibrates. And I look down and there's all sorts of colors. You made your goal. You made your goal. Cool. But that's nice. <sighs> it's not really motivation for me, but it's nice. So I've only been doing three circuits be since I've been on the fast because I didn't want to push it. But I forgot to say, ever since I broke 148, I've been in virgin fat. V-I-R-G-I-N. That means fat I have carried since I was 12 years old. Yep. At 12 years old, I was uh, I got down to 155 after a week in the hospital for testing to see if I had any metabolic reason why I was fat. And I they gave me two horrendous water shots. If they ever offer to give you a water shot, run like hell. They hurt so much. It, not the shot going in, but they put in a huge amount of fluid. And it just hurt and hurt and hurt. So at 155, that was without any fluid in my system. And so, um, yeah, 155. So 148, I, I deducted five pounds for skin removal. They took, because I had, um, they had taken off my, um, in my tummy tuck, I lost 10 and a half pounds. But I didn't count that. Um, as part of the as part of the removal because I grew that much after I was 12. I had a panty at 12, but not like this one. So just in my mind. So I had gotten down to 153 before. So 148 was five pounds below that. So um, we're talking like virgin back when I really, this is fat I had when I really was a virgin. So um, yeah like doo 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 I'd really expect my body to hang on and it may be that that fat that's coming off now has something in it that wasn't fun you know hard to say I had um, you know my dad died when I was ten and a half maybe the fat that's coming off is the fat I put on after he died I don't know I don't care it's just 144.5. I was doing my visualizations. It's like saying 145, 145, 145. I slipped right over 145. Oh my God. And I had like a 0.6 or 0.7 yesterday and I was feeling cheated. Forgive me. Forgive me. So we're going up tomorrow. It may be raining again. I don't really care because I just want to go and lay around and read and I won't be eating unless I do the broth, and I'll have to decide then. I did have an episode yesterday where I think my blood pressure bottomed out. I was at um, Joanne's, and it was like it's a wave that comes up, and it's like a dark, it feels like a dark wave. And I've never passed out, but I just stood and held onto the shelf like, okay, we're not going to pass out. I've had those episodes even when I wasn't fasting. But if I have another one, then I'll stop the fast. So, we'll see. If I have a good loss tomorrow, maybe I'll um, stop tomorrow when we get to the campground. But like I said, I'm not driving. But I don't have a lot of energy for hauling all that stuff out to the trailer. I take a lot of things I use every day with me, so I have to haul them out. I'm trying to get, like kitchen things, trying to get duplicates, so I don't have to haul them in and out, like the egg cooker and the the stick with the blender part on the bottom. Very frustrating. We've, we've had one of the, I know we had one of those Hamilton Beach that you put it in and it does the food processor and then it has a little whip on the end. But I'll be darned if I can find it. We found in the drawer 
where my husband used to keep the one that he made pudding with one part and two parts but they didn't match so somewhere I have the other parts of those sticks because as we've gone from different trailer to different trailer we take things and we don't take things and when my husband cleaned out the big trailer he just hauled everything in and dumped it in the back of the garage so I was able to find one at Target it was a, it was 40 the, the two-speed Hamilton Beach it was forty dollars regularly and it was marked down to 27 so I said you know this one will work in the house when we find the other one and I'll put the other one in the trailer because it would be good to have a blender thinking about getting into keto and doing all these recipes for you know if it's not just meat um, it takes a little bit of if you want some sugar-free whipped cream you got to be able to whip it and you have to have something to whip with but I don't have much storage so I'm trying to you know and my spices it's like my different flavorings I'm trying to I have these snap boxes they're about this big and you know my family laughs because I'm a I'm a container freak because I'm always going to find the perfect container that's going to make my life perfect right so I got all these con all these containers and when I need one I just go shopping around where they're piled up and so we have one space that's about this wide for stuff and I found a file box that fits it's a plastic file box and it's just about this wide and I had three of those up there but um, I ended up putting my extracts and any spices I might need on vacation in it has a big one and then a little one like this and then two little ones and so all my flavorings and things because they're all over the house in the house and if I'm making fat bombs with different flavors while I'm in Florida I want to be able to have what I want I don't have to want to think oh pack this pack this pack this so that's one of the things I've been doing is trying to I'm thinking forward what am I going to need to have and how am I going to organize it at home as well as in the trailer for long term so the, I, I get great enjoyment out of that it keeps this side of my brain busy and usually if I can keep this side of my brain busy then I can fall asleep but lately it's been frustrating like mm. it was just like when I was I have this great go to sleep visualization tape and it's on my phone so when it goes off the phone just turns off and it talks about visualize the body that you were always meant to have the body that you want I have a really hard time doing that when my boobs hung to my waist I just couldn't imagine what not having those you know bowling pin tits was gonna be like and so now that I have no tit basically and my middle is slimming down you know I look damn good today naked standing in front of the mirror but my stomach's empty once that fills up and once that other stuff in there fills all up then it'll be different but I when I hit when I hit my goal on my LDW I will do a body shot that's the promise and I'll put on my suck it in vest and um, maybe I find some I have a couple pair of those black I guess they're called yoga pants but these aren't these are the old all spandex I bought them when I had my thighs done to you know kind of use as compression so anyway sun's coming out but it's been raining we're going Chinese my daughter's been gone for the weekend and now she's back and um, I wanted to kind of reward my husband for kind of putting him through He's a sweetheart about not going up today and so the least I can do is let him go eat Chinese and I'll just sit there I probably I'll have an iced tea because I don't buy dinner so that'll be one thing off plan but okay bye for now